Welcome to Molo Consulting TV. Now in this episode, I want us to, you know, to spend a little bit of time looking at the whole concept of tendering. I think the whole tendering thing has been, a, you know, one of the big hype, maybe since uh, 94 or something like that. Now, you know, we want to understand exactly why is it important for, for a business to tender, you know, and, and how to tender successfully and what are the mandatory documents do we need to tender. And, you know, maybe even the do's and don'ts. Now, let, let's start with this first. You know, what is tendering? Basically, tendering, it's, it's simply like interviewing. It's basically a process that calls for offers for a specific product or services, usually for a specific quantity of a, you know, of a product that has to conform to a certain minimum specification, you know, and must be delivered within a specific period. Now, one might ask himself, why do suppliers or government or business make tenders? Now, this is basically, every, in most businesses wants to focus on their core business, especially big businesses, and outsource other services they require or need. Now, tendering is supposed to be a full process to get the best company that can supply the best product and give the, you know, the best service at a reasonable price or, or, or should I say, competitive price. Now, you know, this also has to be transparency. Now, why is, is there such a hype about tendering or, or, you know, even lately tender premieres? You know, first we need to understand that tenders didn't really start after 94 when, you know, the new, the, 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 the current government, you know, you know, get into place. They just, you know, were open up for everybody after then. Maybe that's why the, the, the hype started as how the, the, you know, you know, most of the majority have access and now influence to, to the whole concept of tenders. Now, people tend to ask, what is a, a tender document? You know, basically, a tender document is a, it's a big document that you would use when you're tendering. Now, what are the advantages, you know, maybe even the disadvantages of getting a tender? Let's look at the advantages. You know, once a business has got a tender, at least it's set for a certain period you know it could be a difference between surviving and dying of a business but but basically take it as sales in a business you know you don't have a lot of pressure to get new sales because you have at least a tender of a few now but now what are the disadvantages you know the disadvantage is obviously slim, you know simply that you know you can you be stretched in terms of resources you may not be able to pay attention to your current clients you know, and, and which, which could lead you to a downfall because after that tender is, is, is expired or is finished, you might not have new business. Now, what are some of the crucial things that you need to understand before you before tendering? You have to understand what is involved. You know, your analysis of your strengths or your weaknesses, careful planning, your expertise, the capacity you have to deliver within a period, you know, the working capital or the cash to be able to pay your staff or your materials. You know, you may even have to consider things like may you, if you have to take subcontractors and so on and, and so and so on. But other than that, the whole you know idea of of tendering it's it's a it's it's an open uh, system. You know, you know businesses are encouraged to tender as much as possible, and not only to be limited to a particular municipality. You know they should you know tender everywhere or whatever depart you know department of 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 government that they wanna you know tender with. Also, you know they should not be limited. Tenders is not only for government. There's tenders as well from private businesses. They should actually try, you know. But the only advice I would say is that to at least tender within the 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 skill set that the company has, because sometimes people just tender for anything that comes at whatever tenders that that comes on board, they want to be, be basically be able to try for it. Thank you.